Society Pass is an acquisitions-focused e-commerce company building the next generation digital ecosystem in Southeast Asia. And with me is the Chief Marketing Officer, Roka Sidlauskas. So great to have you here uh, from the Philippines. Yes, thank so, you for having me. And I know uh, SOPA, Society Pass, really focuses on Southeast Asia. So let's talk about that, the geography of that, and what are the benefits and challenges of being in Southeast Asia? Well, that's a good that's a great question. I think it's one of the most exciting things about our business, the actual geography. Uh, we count just over 650 million people uh, in that part of the world. Some statistics are just astounding. Vietnam, for example, is over 100 million people and over 55% are under 30. Amazing. Um, <laughs> plenty of opportunity. And very digitally connected. Very tech savvy. Right. Uh, very quick to adopt new technologies. So we think it's a it's the best place in the world to be building a business. Yeah, it's, a really it's always growing. Perfect fit for SOPA to be there. Exactly. And give us kind of a rundown of what Society Pass is doing. So we are focused on building a next generation uh, digital ecosystem and loyalty platform. Uh, we looked at the loyalty business model and we identified that it can be significantly improved. Currently, uh, the loyalty falls under two primary buckets. We have a business centric loyalty. Mm -hmm. Think of your Starbucks loyalty points, right? Okay. It's nice to get a free coffee, but uh, unfortunately, uh, there are s certain limitations. So if you take your Starbucks points to Canada, they don't work. Um, our loyalty platform is multi-geography and multi-business verticals, right? So you can earn points by engaging with our travel business and spend them via our uh, lifestyle in e-commerce or FMB or a telecom business that we operate in Singapore. So you've got a lot more kind of flexibility Absolutely. for the user then. And we're talking about Vietnam, uh, Philippines, Singapore. We operate in uh, five markets in Southeast okay. Asia. We're headquartered in Singapore. Uh, we have operations in the Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, and Singapore, of course. Yeah. Now, I introduced this saying acquisition focused, and, and I know from talking to your CEO a few times that um, you've tried, you know, tr there's travel and there's food delivery and there's all these different verticals that you're operating in. Explain all the different areas. So, uh, in Indonesia, we have acquired a, uh, the oldest online travel agency called Nusa Trip. Um, in, uh, in Vietnam, we have a lifestyle and uh, fashion e commerce platform. Uh, we operate a very successful digital marketing business out of Bangkok. We recently opened up offices in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, uh, in Manila, Philippines, as well as Jakarta. That business is growing very rapidly. Uh, we also operate a uh, travel eSIM business called Gorilla out of Singapore and uh, a couple of smaller F&B uh, businesses in the Philippines. So there's definitely a very nice synergy uh, between them. Is there anything that you think is missing that you might like to acquire? Well, we definitely have uh, pretty aggressive uh, expansion plans. Uh, would love to enter a couple of more geographies, such as Malaysia, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, and over the next uh, <clears throat> three to five years, we're definitely looking to expand and acquire complementary businesses that will add value to our users and expand the service offering to our customers. Mm -hmm. And what about the opportunities there? I mean, are there any additional opportunities or ways for well, expansion that you're looking Absolutely. Looking you know, I mentioned that it's a population of over half a billion in the markets that we operate, but would you believe it if I said that less than 70% of people are, um, sorry, less than 30% of people are banked in the, in the traditional sense, the way so, we understand in the West, right? So uh, there's about 70% of the population who is unbanked in its traditional sense. So the opportunity and the challenge is how do you take that part of the population and digitize them and bring them into the uh, online experiences that we're building. Interesting, that sounds like that could be some potential growth since everybody's mobile. Exactly, right? everybody um, has a phone in the for pocket. some kind of FinTech opportunity. Uh, you know, we are, um, we're putting a lot of focus in terms of connecting uh, and finding ways how to bring them to this online world. So a good example is um, there's been a massive rise of digital e-wallets in Southeast Asia where essentially, in layman terms, a person is able to go to any corner shop, uh, take their cash. A lot of Southeast Asia still operates on cash. Uh, they can take it to a corner shop, um, and the money will be put on this e-wallet that then, if the wallet is connected to e-commerce sites or any other services online, they're able to interact and pay for them. Yeah, very interesting. Sounds like you've got a lot of potential growth ahead. Absolutely, so. There's, um, you know, we think uh, our future plans are very exciting, and we look forward to 
the next couple of years. Thank you so much, Rokas, for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you for having me. Uh -huh.